about to do a little work on this bad boy right here. Huh? About to close my exhaust. I had gapped it. Been like this for uh, probably for a couple months now. But uh, I'm about to close it. I decided to do a video in case some of y'all want to gap your exhaust. It, it's a cheap modification. I was hoping you can see the gap from under here, but don't look like you'll be able to see it. But when I get under the car, I'll show you. But it's a cheap modification in case you turbo and uh, you want to gain a little horsepower by letting the exhaust breathe. If you got stock exhaust or even if you just want to not fully have uh, open exhaust, but you just want to gap it to let it breathe a little bit. I'll show you a little modification that you can do. And also, I'm going to let you hear it. It will make your car... Uh, louder depending on how big that gap is so I'm gonna let you hear it and I also got some video samples of me uh, driving in the streets with it gap and uh, if you like it you can try it so I'll just turn this thing on and let you hear how it sounds Got the car in the air, got two jacks on it, plus a little safety uh, stand under the bottom. Now we're gonna slide up in the DMs like so. Alright, here we go. Alright, you see how that is? See that gap right there now, boy? That's the gap I was talking about. It actually opened up a little wider. It wasn't that big when I first did it. So that's the gap. If you got a piece in the rear where your muffler uh, bolt up like how this does and not weld it, then you can gap it in the rear and uh, it won't be so close to you in case, you know, you got a, uh, if it's fumes or whatever coming out and you sensitive, then it's best to do it in the back. But I didn't, my muffler's welded on, so. I gapped it where the boats was, which was in the front by the collector. So this is what I wanted to show y'all. That's the gap I'm talking about. So depending on how big this gap is, that's how loud, how much louder your car go be. And like I said, when I first did it, it wasn't as big. So obviously it opened up some more. So, But it allow you, not you, but your engine to breathe. So in case your exhaust is uh, restricted and it's not letting the air flow as good as it need it to be boo yeah this is a quick modification it can easily be reversed like i'm about to do right now i'm gonna reverse it and close this thing back up mine take a donut in the center right there so i gotta remember where i put that donut i gotta find a donut put it back in and how i did it the spring ouch i'm using the spring as a gap as you can see the spring is what's gapping it and then I put these rubber grommets right here to, uh, cause this, uh, screw isn't threaded all the way back. So it was bottoming out before it actually, uh, uh, made contact with the spring. So I put these donuts right here cause I didn't have no more spacers to, uh, keep this on the threads. These donuts right here is nothing but the rubber that go on, uh, shocks, like the top hat. That's what these rubbers are, the, the rubber uh, bushings for the shocks. So I just put two of those on this side, two on the other side. 
and it kept the boat from uh, 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 bottoming out. But like I say, this boat isn't threaded all the way through, as you can see right here. So, let me get going. Same thing on the other side. Two of those rubber uh, dang on top hat bushings or shock bushing spring got the gap. But I'm going to close this thing back up. And uh, you'll see how it looks when I'm all done with it. This is the gasket. It's a donut. Mine don't have that paper gasket that you place on the, the collector. This just gets inserted in the center. Then you tighten everything back up. So let's put this bad boy in now. So as you see, I already put it in there. You just put the flat part towards the engine. And then that round part towards the, the exhaust. So, yo, I already got it in there. This is it right here. Then I'm wiggling. So let me put the bolts back through. And uh, this time, instead of the spring being in the middle, the spring is going to go in the rear back here. So uh, let me show you, man. All right, we all closed up. Got the, uh, uh, I'm gonna call it. There you go. Got the little gasket or grommet, whatever you want to call it, back in the center. Got the bolts all on. Make sure they tight. And uh, I'm gonna let y'all hear it right now so you can see the difference between when the gap is closed and put back the stock compared to. How it was when it had the gap. So let me slide up out of these DMs. Got that spooler right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so let me fire this thing up. And this is it with, uh, with it closed up. You can actually hear what's going on up under here. Yeah. Mishimoto, hey! So that's it. I just wanted to show y'all the difference between gap and not gap. Now I'm gonna play some video footage of how it sounds going down the road, gap and not gap. <laughs> 